Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com with If I Could Only Have One Work, If I Could Choose Only One Work, what's the title? If I Could Only Choose One Work by fill in the blank. It would have to be fill in the blank. Well, the by in this case is Wagner. And Wagner, you know, and basically there were two two schools of commentary on the question of Wagner, because I, when I asked you to suggest things by various composers, you all popped in, and a lot of you wanted you know, to get your opinions registered about Wagner, for which I'm very grateful. And uh, there, were, there were essentially two. One was Tristan and Isolde, and the other was The Ring, possibly with Das Rheingold. Well, the answer, folks, is The Ring. Why? because it gives you the most Wagner. It's one work. Let's not forget. It's one work in multiple sections. So it's very difficult to say, well, you know, why should we have anything less? Now, there were a lot of other options, and I need to deal with Tristan first. Tristan and Isolde is one of the, you know, cosmic linchpins of contemporary music. I don't regard it as a particularly good one as far as linchpins go. I don't mean it's a bad piece. It's a fabulous opera. I mean, I adore the opera. I, I mean, I thought I would hate it, but I, I had to actually see it live because even though nothing happens, nothing happens very excitingly when it's staged, much more excitingly than when you just listen to it on, on, on disc. It's really kind of fascinating how well it works on stage. But the bottom line with Tristan is that it's important because it represents the breakdown of tonality and the triumph of chromaticism and and the the you know, sort of like victory of a kind of fluid, rhythmless, sludgy, <laughs> you know, or orchestral sonority. You see, the work is not like that. It's really not. It's a miracle of clarity and beauty and, and all of those things. But it's what other composers of lesser gifts made of it. So I actually don't care how important it was because I don't think it's, 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 Pro, it, it was, it's, what do they call it? It's progeny. That's the word. It's progeny, um, by and large, are all that fabulous. I mean, yes, I mean, if you want to say like Wozzeck was its progeny, yeah, okay, it is fabulous. You know, it's the, all the, the second Viennese school stuff that was marvelous, but I, I, there's a point at which you're no longer saying it's, it's Wagnerian. You know, Wagner gets way too much credit for some of that stuff because because, yeah, I mean, you could do chromatic sludge till the cows come home, but Wagner never ventured over that barrier into atonality at all. In fact, Tristan and Isolde is the very triumph of, of tonality. I mean, the Liebes taught is passionate and it's, you know, intense and yearning, but it's only because those climaxes explode in yummy major keys that we, we get that orgasmic feeling from the music at all. It's the contrast course. Anyway, that's a whole lecture that's kind of pointless and stupid. I understand. That's why I did not choose Tristan. Because what we're left with, if you forget its place in musical history, and the evil god Cancrazans is going to eliminate all of music as far as, you know, except for one work by each composer, depending on what we choose. You know, he doesn't care about that either. He's not interested in 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 the the German view of musical his history of the 20th century. I mean, couldn't care less. And I couldn't care less either. I mean, I really don't. So it ain't Tristan, I'm sorry, beautiful though it is. The Ring has, you know, a good chunk of it includes a lot of, of music that, you know, put post-dates Tristan. So it has plenty of that same kind of yumminess, but it's just a... Uh, you know, more, and it's more fun, and it's bigger, and it has a great story. I mean, a really cool story. And and it's just, and, and Das Rheingold, as one of you pointed out, is the most perfect example of the Wagnerian Gesamtkunstwerk. It really is. It's the only piece he wrote that actually follows his own theories. Everything else has arias and stuff like that, you know, arioso and recitative-like sections and stuff. So 
I, I think that when you come right down to it, it's got to be the ring. Um, I'm happy it's the ring. There isn't anything else that comes even close to the ring. As a conception, it is one of the most extraordinary creations that anybody ever conceived. Um, and remember, Tristan was supposed to be the anti-ring because Wagner despaired of ever having it performed. He wanted to write something that he thought was easy and simple. Well, of course, it turned out to be impossible and complicated because he was Wagner. But but the ring is the ring, and it's the pick. It's the only pick. The only thing that really fits in this particular exercise. Um, other exercises may choose other works. So that's the answer, friends. Keep on listening. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care.